before we started the dredging project we had a feasibility study and based on the feasibility study we made our technical dredging plan and in our dredging plan we choose the mechanical dredging method because it has some advantages over the traditional method we noticed that some of the drainage canals do not have sufficient working space on the shore and that some spots in the canal are hard to reach that is why we introduced the deeper pontoon with an excavator a generator and spark poles to create a stable platform for the dredging on the water from the deeper pontoon the excavator can clean and dredge the water body the excavator removes the sediment from the bed of the water body and loads the sediment in the barges alongside the pontoon in this project we use three barges uh, whereby two barges are connected uh, to the pontoon to make sure the dredging work can continue all the time this is a very effective way of dredging and under normal circumstances the production capacity can be more than 220 meter cube per day it is easy to move the pontoon to the next dredging spot but before we do that we check if we removed the sediment according to the dredging plan when the pontoon has to be moved the spot poles are lifted and the excavator on the pontoon can move the pontoon forward or backward and turn the pontoon in the right position we stabilize the pontoon by lowering the spot poles and make sure that they are fixed in a safe way once a barge is full the barge will be replaced by an empty barge and the full barge will be transported to the unloading location at the unloading location an excavator removes sediment from the barges where the sediment will be disposed as landfill by another excavator or bulldozer the sediment can also be transported in a watertight truck to a specific disposal site. Mm -hmm.